he may go off being in this truth, but then he, he goes right back into the world. Well, how is he, how is he, how is he going to be forgiven? That means you're treading Yahabashah's mercy underfoot. That's another thing in the Hebrews. All right? If you continue in the faith, ground it and settle it. And be not moved away. So you don't want to be moved away from the gospel. Right? From the hope of the gospel which you have heard. A lot of people, they get tired, they get bored. They get tired of waiting. Right? Which you have heard which was preached to every creature which is under heaven. Where I, Paul, am made a minister. Right? Don't be moved away from the gospel. I quickly want to go to Hebrews. See if I can find it. Alright? You've had many that have came into this. But for some reason, it's, it's, many, diff it's many different reasons. It's many different reasons. They got tired of waiting. And they, they were looking for a way out. And some, some they would blame other brothers. Well, I don't like the way this brother was... um. It was treating me, so I left. No, you can't do that. You still have to continue. Your men making excuses why they don't go out. Well, I stopped going out because uh, you weren't right. No, you still have to go out. Even if you were laboring with a brother that wasn't right, you still have to go out. Take responsibility. You're rubbish, some rubbish I'm hearing. You still have to go out. Bear me just a minute. You can't look back. Once you put your hand to the plow, you can't look back. Alright, yes, we got it. This is Hebrews 10. Right? Hebrews 10. And let's go straight to verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart. So we want to draw near to Yahweh Shai with a true heart, with a true mind. Right? Be true about this. Do you really want salvation? Do you really want to get out of here? Well, draw nigh to Yahweh Shai. Right? In full assurance of faith. Full. That's why the scripture says, um, give what? Give uh, what? Give diligence to make your court and then lecture sure. With full assurance. Right? Of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. Our minds, when it says hearts sprinkled with it and that's spiritual because what was sprinkled when Moses was, he was sprinkling in blood right he was sprinkling in blood upon what the book of the law and the children of Israel as an atonement right heart sprinkled from an evil conscience through what the word right so we're sprinkling we're sprinkling this water upon you this word so you can be clean right but only a few are going to be clean by this word Right? Flame up, baby. <laughs> Repent from that. And our bodies wash with pure water. Right? So, how do we wash ourselves? With this word. I'm sure you don't go, what, four or three days without washing. So how do we wash? We wash with this word. This is how we wash ourselves. This is how we make ourselves clean. From this world, because it's so easy to get contaminated from the wickedness in this world. Right? And bodies washed with pure, pure water, which John the Baptist was doing, in a physical sense. But that was all spiritual, right? That was representative of when you have a shot, come, what he was going to do. He was going to wash you with the word. That's a true baptism. The true baptism is this word. Okay. Let us hold fast, 1 verse 23, let us hold fast our profession of our faith. This is our profession, right? And other brothers, you may have um, other professions as well. You may be a builder, you may be an electrician, you may be, I don't know, whatever. But this is our main profession, right? And guess what? Paul, the prophets, they had professions as well. What was Paul? Paul was a tent maker. Yahabashai was a carpenter. Right? So, you had the prophets, they had professions, but they were, they were brought here to teach the word. That was their purpose, to teach the word and to glorify Yahweh Shai. Because I'm sure a lot of you in this truth, you had ambitions in the world. 
But when you woke up to this truth, all them worldly ambitions, that got put to the side. All them worldly ambitions. Right? Without wavering, for he that wait, for he that is faithful, for he, for he is faithful that promise. Without wavering, bear me just a minute. James 1 and 6, but let him ask in faith. You've got to ask in faith. If you're feeling weak in the faith, pray. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavers is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Right? So you just, just believe. Just believe in Yahweh Shai. Then watch how he does things in your life. Watch how he just. And not, not, when I'm saying that, it doesn't mean everything's going to be hunky dory. You're going to catch more hell. But just watch how he deals with, he would deal with you. Just trust and believe in him. And everything will be sorted out. Right? Hebrews 10. And where was that, 24? And let us consider one another to provoke and to love and do good works. So when these lessons are done, it's not to provoke you in a wicked way, it's to provoke you to good works also. Right? <laughs> you women are proud. It's to provoke you to good works. Right? So you, so you want to do the work. You should want to do this work. That's provoking you to good works. Right? Not forsaking the assembly. Assembling of ourselves together. So again, you may not be a part of a camp, but part of you is not forsaking the assembly when you go back into the world. You go back into the world, that's you've just forsaken the assembly. Right? This is, the, this is the assembly right here. This is the altar. This is the altar of the Heavenly Father right here. So when you stop doing the work, you, you, you're forsaken the assembly. And we ain't to do that. Right? You want to continue enduring. If you're feeling weak, pray to endure. Pray for what? Mental fortitude. Right? That's what you've got to do. Okay? And it says... As the matter of some is, because you have had some that have done that, went right back into the world. Forsook in the assembly. Check the time. Bit more time. Right? Of ourselves. Alright? Together as the matter of some is. By exhorting one another. So you continue to exhort your brothers. As much as in you, you continue to exhort your brothers to continue on in this faith. Continue to fight that good fight. Right? Because your house is on his way. This place ain't got another. This place. I don't believe this place has another five years. Right? This place it ain't got long. At all. Okay? Excuse me. I so much more as you see the day approaching. What day did they ever lost return? So you exhort each other even more, knowing that Yahweh is on his way, right? You don't slow down. Oh, you know the the I've been talking the longer you know the longer the longer you've been in the truth, you know you just you do less, you just you mature, bro. Who told you that? I haven't I haven't seen not that nowhere in the scriptures. The long the longer you're in the truth, you just you do less. That's I mean that's Satan told you that. You do more. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of truth, there remain of no more sacrifice for sins. Sinning willfully, you go back into the world. Now there's no more sacrifice for your sins now. Right? But a certain fearful, looking for a judgment of fiery indignation. So, this is a certain fearful looking. You're gonna be in fear because you never, when Yahushua comes back, you never endured. You never endured. Right? You never endured. You never stood firm. Okay? Stay firm. A f it says a fiery indignation of what? Which shall devour the adversaries. Bear me just a minute. Isaiah 33. 
Three simps are linking up well today. As they're 33. For the spirit of Yahweh Shai, this is not of myself. And as they're 33, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And 14, the sinners of Zion are afraid. These would be the, the same individuals that have that fiery look for expectation of indignation. Fearfulness of surprise, the hypocrites. They're the ones that are supposed to be fearful. The hypocrites of our nation. Those that know they ain't been doing right according to Yahweh Shai. Right? Who amongst us shall dwell with the vermin? Fire. Right? They're missiles. And with everlasting, who amongst us shall do over everlasting burnings? Right? Go back to where we were. Back on Hebrews 10. Right? And really, it's, it is all down to predestination because it's only Yahweh that can keep you in this faith. It's only Him. Right? Hebrews, where was we? 10. And. 26, for every sin willfully that we after we have received the knowledge of the truth right, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins so, example, you wake up to this truth, right an example you've been labouring for five years but then you go back into the world for two what, 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 what do you expect? do you expect to be saved? you've been labouring for 15 years but you, you go back into the world. Well, well, do you expect to be saved? Can Yahabashai, again, nothing's impossible with Yahabashai. Because the scriptures talk about the prodigal son. So yeah, but I don't want to test them waters. I want to I wanna make my court in an election sure. Right? You know? I don't want to be playing that game. Alright? Uh, and it says, maybe just a minute. But a certain, fearful looking for what? Judgment. I already went into that. A spy in English which should devour the adversaries. So this shows you, it says which shall devour the adversaries. So this shows you, ain't just Esau, that's an adversary. It's our own people also that are adversaries to Yahweh Shai. Because if you go back into the world, that means yes, you was an adversary to Yahweh Shai. You never believed. You are more for this world than you are for your house shy. Okay. He despised he that not despise Moses nor died without mercy. And the two or three witnesses, because you always had rebellious Israelites that were coming up against Moses, complaining, murmuring. Right? And how much more so a punishment? Suppose you shall be shall he be thought worthy who have trodden and the foot, the son of the Most High. Saw a punishment. Those that have trodden on the foot, Yahweh has grace, Yahweh has mercy. Right? Basically, what? You go, you hear this truth, you go back into the world, basically, you're treading it under the foot, it means nothing. Yahweh has grace, don't mean anything to you. That's what it means. That's what it means, tread, trodden under foot. Right? In other words, you never believe. What, what was more important that you had to go back into the world and take a hiatus? What was more important? Right? You shall be fought worthy to have trodden underfoot the Son of the Most High and have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he sanctified an, an holy thing and done the, the spy, excuse me Done in the spite of grace, so you were given that grace, but you went right back into the world. Therefore, it's no more grace. Therefore, you're now you're you're just stuck in your sins. That's where you want to remain. Even when you go off, you want to remain in your house. The moment you go back into the world, well, what do you expect them to do? A lot of men they want their cake and they want to eat it. They want one foot in the truth and one foot in the world. You can't do that. You can't, you can't have one foot in the truth, one foot in the world. It don't work that way. That's selfish. Basically, you want it all. You can't, you can't have it that way. Because this world is going to be destroyed. You can't have it both ways. 
right? He says, and unholy thing and have done despite the spirit of grace. That's why you have what I said, he's given us that spirit of grace so we can get right. For we know him that I've said, vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord again, the Lord shall judge his people. So the Lord, it begins with us. That judgment begins with us. More so those that know the truth. Then the rest of Israel. Right? That's why we want to make sure we're in the right order. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, Yahweh Shai. It's fearful. Right? And that's what, that's what moves me to what? Do this work. Right? That's what moves me to do this work. Right? And to remain. Okay? Excuse me, just a minute. Is there anything else? But call to remembrance. Right? Re. Back. Remember from what you might. Call to remembrance. Right? The former days in which you were illuminated. Right? Remember, the full, remember when you first heard this truth? You were illuminated with what? This word. Right? You were shining. You were emanating wisdom. Knowledge. You wanted to learn more. Remember the former days. That's why the scriptures of Revelation is what? Free? For, um, what's it? Remember your first love. Right? And it says, where you were illuminated, you endured a great fight of afflictions. So when you first heard about this word, you were doing everything necessary. You were doing everything necessary. Right? To make your election sure. You were fighting them afflictions. You weren't com you were I'm sure you weren't complaining more. And as time goes on, we should get more, more used to these things. Right? Where you were made a gate partly why you were made a gazing stock. And that's what we are. We're a gazing, we're a gazing stock. You know what the, a gate well, this is spiritual, what a gazing stock. People just gazing, staring. Right? It's comedy for it's for some, not always comedy. For the people that are not serious, that are going to be destroyed, it's comedy for them. What made a gazing stop? You gaze something, you're just, you just, like a zoo. When you have a zoo, you have animals and you're just gazing. Well, that's how we're made to the world. As a gazing stop. Alright? Both by reproaches and afflictions. So we get reproach in this truth. We're not always spoken well about. And afflictions. Get afflicted. Right? In many different ways. And partly whilst you became companions of them what were so used. Right? That's why the scripture says, bless them that despitefully use you. Right? And it says, if you had compassion on me in my bonds and took joyfully the spell of your goods, knowing in yourself that you have been have, have in heaven a better keeping. A better an enduring substance. So yeah, we have a better and enduring substance. Right? That's what we have. We have a better and enduring substance in the heavens with Yahweh Shai. And really the substance is this faith. This is our substance. Right? Everything else is vanity. Okay? A better and enduring substance. Right? And it says, Baba Kishar, cast not away therefore your confidence. Don't cast that away. The only thing we got is what? Integrity, that faith. Cast therefore and away your confidence. Don't cast it away. Keep it. Right? Cast not away your confidence. But you have great recompense. Right? Of your rewards. So this great recompense of your reward. Through what? Enduring. Right? Okay. All that clapping, they're going to be doing that in the kingdom. They're going to be doing that clapping for Yahweh Shai. Okay? And all that, you got to look at things in a spiritual manner. Right? All that clapping they're doing, they're going to be clapping like seals for Yahweh Shai, Lord of Lords, Kings of Kings. Right? 
and they're not going to be standing up. They're going to be they're going to be bowing down. Right? The scripture says that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Right? And it says, "For you have need of patience." Key thing, patience. Right? Let me check the time. You have need of patience that after you have done the will of the Most High, might receive the promise. After. So we're still, we're still waiting for it. Right? That change, com that complete change. Right? For yet, not a while, and yet, he shall, shall come, will not tarry. A little while, so Yahabasha, he's coming. Yahabasha, he's on his way. Right? Now the, the just shall live by faith. That's what, that's what the just are going to do. Just just means upright. They're going to live by faith. Right? But if any man draw back, don't draw back. Don't look back. Don't, don't get them demonic thoughts. Well, uh, uh, don't get them thoughts. Well, Satan's telling you, well, this truth of it, it ain't really doing anything for me. It ain't. I haven't really progressed in the world. Well, you're not supposed to progress in the... No, you're not supposed to progress in this world. Because the more you have Yahabashah, his spirit, you're going to be, um... What's the word? Separated from the world. So you're not... It doesn't mean you're not going to progress. Of course, you're going to progress big time. But you're not going to progress in the world because this world is against Yahabashah. Right? Because this world is not for righteousness. Okay? But you will progress. Okay? And it says, If any man draw back my soul, shall I have no pleasure in him. Right? So, in other words, Yahweh ain't gonna, he's no longer going to delight in you. Because you've drawn back. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, unto what? Destruction. Right? We are not of the ilk that draw back into the world but of them that believe to the saving of the soul key thing those that what? to the believing of the soul don't draw back okay do not draw back go to Peter's All right, Second Peter's and twelve, but these are natural brute beasts. So yeah, yes, you have brute beasts amongst our nation. Brute beast, a brute beef beast ain't operating um according to the law. A brute beast is operating according to the flesh, according to emotion. All right. These are brute beasts. Alright? Made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of things that they understand not. Made to be taken. Alright? What in destruction? And destroyed. Speak evil of things that they understand not. So if you don't understand the scriptures, you're going to be speaking evil of it. Right? That's what you're going to be doing, speaking evil of the scriptures. Speaking evil of things you don't understand. Right? Like example. Key thing, easy, something easy. Israelites, foreigners. If, you're, if, if, if you have an evil mind, you're going to be looking at that like, well, well no, well, only Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon. Next thing you're going to be wearing garments that look like the shikis, you know, black, green, yellow, right, gold, or whatever. You're going to start doing that because you don't understand. You're speaking evil of, of the scriptures. You mean you don't really understand the scriptures? Simple things. Something that's simple and basic. You're stumbling upon even a chart. And shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Right? 
and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Key thing it says riot in daytime. Right? Right is what? Feed, you're feeding your flesh. Right? Spots are they blemishes. So you have a white top and you have a stain, that's a, that's a blemish, that's a spot. It's easily noticeable. Sporting themselves, right? Sporting themselves with their own deceiving. So you have those, they're sporting themselves with their own, de with their own deceit, right? And you have men in the truth, they, they're just happy to be deceitful. It's like they know they're gonna be destroyed, but they're just, they're happy with being deceitful, right? Sporting themselves with their own deceivings, flaunting their deceit. Right? With their own deceivings, why they feast with you. And they're doing this without fear. And I've why why are they at camp with you? Why are they laboring with you? Having eyes full of adultery. Adulterers. Twofold. Yeah, may take he, he's looking at your woman. He take your woman. Yeah, that man, he, look at him, look at him, uh, he's, he's, with, he's, he's a waste man, bro, that's his woman. Now you're a waste man. Get your own, but this is what happens when you're covetous. At least to every other sin. Right? Eyes full of adultery and spiritually, spiritual adultery as well. Right, which is what, different idols. And that cannot cease from sin, that cannot stop sinning. Beguiling unstable souls. So these men, they try to beguile others. Right? They try to beguile others. Right? In their wickedness. Right? In their deceit. They look for other men that may not know as much as they know. And they deceive, they beguile their souls. Un and that's why it says, yes, unstable souls, those that are not stable. They get, be they get beguiled by that. And they end up following these guys. Right? With the all, all black, or so-called all black doctrine. Black only, Negro only, Bantu. They start following that. Because they were unstable souls. They were not studied. A heart they have exercised with covetous practices. Cursed children. That's why I keep saying, watching that, watch out for that covetousness. It says cursed children which are forsaken the right way and have gone astray following the way of Balaam Balaam the son of Basar who loved the wages of unrighteousness which were abused praise the iniquity the dumb are speaking with man's praise for bad the madness of the prophet these are wells without water and when you go to a well what are you looking for? water you're looking to draw water without they have no water at all, right? And that's why they go missing for two weeks, one week, you know, come to camp unenthusiastic. Clouds, they are carried with a tempest. Clouds, and it says carried with a tempest. With what? Different doctrines. Scriptures tell you that in Ephesians somewhere, carried about with what? Different winds of doctrine. To whom the midst of darkness is reserved forever, they just have a dark presence. Right? For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, lies, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantingness. It's all, for the, it's all through the lust of the flesh. And it says through much wantingness. And they're never satisfied. Someone that's covetous, they're never satisfied. They want more. Right? Which it says, those that were clean escaped from them who lived in error, right? So hold on, you were you were just you clean you just you came out of the world, you escaped from error, but them now you just return back into the world. 
You've escaped from them who live in error, the people in the world. Now you just merge yourself back in with them. Why they promised them liberty? They themselves are servants of corruption. Okay, why you were teaching? No, you've became a servant of corruption of the world. Because this is what this world is, corrupt. Okay. For of whom a man is overcome, the same is brought into bondage. Right? So now, you're back into bondage. You're back, you're back into the rudiments of the world which we were speaking about. But you were... You were just you were just free from that. Now you've went back to it. For whom a man is overcome, the same is put into body. For if off they have escaped the pollutions of the world, right? Through the knowledge of the Lord, you have Mashiach, Savior Mashiach, they are entangled. Again, entangled wherein and overcome the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. You're going to be in a worse state than you were before. The latter end. Then the beginning, because you beginning, you started off well. But the latter end is worse for you because you didn't attain, you wasn't holding on to Sophia. So now you're in a worse state. Right? And other, other men don't even, what, you, you can't even notice that. If a man, he's, 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 just, he's in the world. No matter how much times he's, he sets up camp, this man's in the world. He's of the world. And the scriptures tell us, love nothing of the world. Be not of this world. Right? Scriptures tell us that. Right? But our people, they're not trying to hear it. Right? And it says, Through the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that again, heaven overcome. But it had been better, overcome, the latter end is worse than the beginning. It had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. It's better that you never even knew the scriptures at all right then to know the scriptures and go right back into the world it's better that you never even knew nothing because now there's going to be a worse judgment and it says then after they have known it to return from the holy commandment delivered unto them but it's happened unto them according to the true proverb the proverb is somewhere in proverbs which gives it away the dog is turned to his own vomit right so the dog has turned, returned to his own vomit. You've returned back to your own vomit. And dogs do that. They, once they throw up, they eat their own vomit. It's disgusting. You don't want to do that. You don't want to return back to your own vomit. Right? And the soul that was washed in her wallowing in the mud. Right? In that dirt. You don't want to return back to that dirt. You came out of that dirt. Now you want to return back to it. And that's why there's going to be this, this more responsibility for us, because we know. See if I can find it. It's much more of a responsibility for us, because now we know. So now you're going to be held accountable, because you know better. Excuse me, just a minute. Can't find it, so we leave that. I want to get to the next topic. A part of the thing is what the trials. Brothers are going through trials, right? You got demons. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to mess with brothers. Which really we went into that Yahweh controls all. You got demons, reprobates. Esau has hired men that are what MK Ultra drugged up, right? Just demons, technicians, craftsmen to come up against his word, right? That's what he's done, but he's failing. That's a part of the tribulation. All right? So now, minus will go to Peter. Come on now. The scripture said these things would happen. It's not a surprise to me. Here, here we go. This is First Peter's, and start at six. Wherein you greatly rejoice, right? So 
I'm not supposed to be rejoicing, right? By 14, bracket the hour, bracket the hour, share, bracket the hour, bracket the hour, share. Where are you greatly rejoicing? Yeah, we're supposed to be rejoicing, right? So now for a season, if need be, you are in heavy temptation. Heavy temptations, man. Heavy. Okay, heaviness through manifold temptations. Manifold is many. You are in heaviness. If something's heavy, it's weighing you down through manifold. Not one. Manifold ain't one. Excuse me. Manifold ain't one. Manifold ain't two. Manifold ain't three. Could be more. Could be five. Could be seven. Manifold temptations. All different things are going to happen when you wake up to this truth. Manifold temptations. You are in heaviness. Right? Scripture's told us of these things. The trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found as the praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai. So, once as he has faith, well, his faith is going to be tried. Right? Faith is going to be tried. Right? It's more precious than gold. And the reason you're being tried because Yahweh Shai sees you as acceptable. Right? He sees you as worthy to be tried. Right? That perisheth. Okay? Right be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honour. Okay? And the glory of the appearing of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who have not seen, he love. So we ain't seen him, but we love him. Because we have faith. In whom Though now you see him not, you believe, believe and you rejoice with unspeakable joy. That's faith. Because we don't see it, but we know Yahweh Shai exists, point blank period. Just look at what he's doing, look at the miracles, look at everything he's doing. So we believe. With joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith. The end of it. Better is the end of the thing than the beginning. Right? Even the salvation of your souls, right? That's 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 why we're laboring for that salvation, right? Go to the book of Apocrypha. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. All comes with the territory. And again, the scoffers. You're going to get scoffers, you're going to get mockers, you're going to get think those that this is a joke. Bro, they're going to get their Jews, right? When all hell breaks loose, when a martial law um, upside up, upside their head, with, with, with gun bucks them upside their head, when all hell starts breaking loose, that's when they're going to call upon on the men of the Lord. And the men of the Lord are not going to be there, right? So these things will happen, right? We just got to be patient, we just have to do our part. That's all. Right? The elect, yeah, beginning with Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai and the elect will have the last laugh. We can assure you that. We will have the last laugh. Let them pe let these people have it. Yahweh Shai did. Speaking of that, bear me just a minute. The mind that Yahabashai had, the patience that Yahabashai had. Because sometimes it's like, yeah, you want to take matters into your own hands at times, but then it's like, well, no, let Yahabashai deal with it. Hebrews 12. Excuse me just a minute. Yeah, Hebrews 12. Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed with a great self cloud, right? Of witnesses, cloud of witnesses, chariots. They were the same cloud of witnesses that were what? That were with us in what the wilderness? A cloud by day, fire by night. Right? A great cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight. Right? That weight is that sin. Right? Remember what we read that you're in what better for what heaviness through what temptation? Right? 
and it says the sin which have easily beset us because it's more easy to go off than to do the right thing and let us run with patience the race that is set before us so you're running in a race excuse me you're running in a race but you're running that race with patience you're running that race with temperance you're running that race with balance right but you're still looking to finish that race right which is set before us looking onto the what the author Yahweh the author the beginning and the finisher of our faith so it all comes down to Yahweh Shai the beginning and the what the finisher of our faith right who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame so there was joy that was set before Yahweh Shai joy because he knew right he could see the kingdom right despising the shame right so even our Lord Yahweh Shai there was things he had to eat he was shamed he was perfect but he was still shamed a lot of men don't want to go through that process but they, they, they want the crown they want the kingdom but they don't want to go through that they, they just want to what what's it a meal ticket excuse me they just want a meal ticket right but they don't want to have to there's fields jumping around but they don't want to have to go through it right and it's set down at the right hand of the throne of the most high right because he accomplished his mission the purpose right for consider him Yahweh Shai excuse me always consider Yahweh Shai that endured such contradiction of sinners Yahweh Shai himself endured such contradiction of sinners you had how, can you the heavenly father sent Yahweh Shai to die for our sins and he was contradicting, he had to put up with individuals that he had to die for versus them contradiction of sinners see you have those that they're not even doing the right thing and that's why you're not supposed to be concerned with the world because the world what, what are they judging? what morals do they have? not judging you by the morals or the standards of the scriptures so Yahweh had to endure the contradiction of sinners those I didn't even believe Whatever it is, you have a man that's an adulterer, smoking weed, what graffitiing or whatever it may be, talking shit, going to parties, clubs, all types of wickedness. You have to, you have to endure those that are not even trying to live the right way. Well, that's what Yahweh had to do. Okay. Lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Don't be wary about this and faint, because. If you're not built up, you look at it like, well, all these other people are doing wickedness and you're still catching hell because people think, well, I've got the Bible, so I'm supposed to be living good. Ain't nothing supposed to be happening. No, you're still going to catch hell. You're still going to catch hell in this truth. Right? It doesn't mean you're not going to catch hell because you've got a Bible in your hand. Because you're, you're still going to catch even more hell. Right? But it says, enjoy the contradiction of sinners right those that were not right unless you faint in your minds and we don't this ain't the time to be fainting in our minds and you have forgotten the exhortation the good words to speak unto you as unto children my son despise not key thing despise not the chastening of the Lord Yahweh of Ashai don't despise that chastening right don't despise it because the chastening that's what's going to get us into the kingdom right 
No offense when that other rebuke is given. The rebuke comes different, different ways. The rebuke, so, sometimes, you may not know, it can come from people in the world. Even though most of the times they're wrong, some, someone in the world could tell you something and yeah, it could be true. I've had that. That takes humility, right? And chastisement comes from also, more so brothers in the truth, right? You could be chastised by them. They're telling you something. You're watching a video and you feel cut by that. That means you would, you've just been chastised, right? Chastised, pains, affirmities. Hey, 14, hey, break it to your house, break it to your house, shy. Break it to your house, break it to your house, Chastisement comes in different ways. Chastisement comes in different ways. Um, what else, what else, what else? It just it comes in various different, various different ways. You're feeling sick, that's chastisement. For whom the Lord, Yahweh Shire, love it. He trusted it and scored you. Let me check the time. Still got more time. And he scored you. Scored you beat. See, Yahweh Shire beats us, but not, you don't, you, know, you, you don't have a father. Your father, you don't just beat your son because you're, for no reason. It's because you're showing him a lesson. You're teaching him a lesson. Don't do that again. That's why you chastise your son. And scourge of every son whom he receiveth. So he's receiving you. <laughs> and the, scour the, scour the scourging, you may look at particular scenarios and be like, well, why would he? Well, your Habashai is in control. You just got to trust in him. He's in control. He knows what he's doing. Right? Another spiritual number, 33. Which means understanding. Right? And it says, the scourge of every son who will receive it. If you enjoy chastening, the most I deal with you as sons. He's dealing with us as a son of his. Bro, you got to imagine it's the heavenly father and his son, the creator of the whole world, they're chastening you. You. I. Because he cares, he's looking down upon you. No, I need to purge this from him. I don't like this, I don't like that. I need to remove this, so I need to put him through that fire. I don't like this about him. Well, that's how you have a shot. Look, so there's particular things that are within us that may not be right. That's, how, that's why that chastisement, chast chastisement comes. And also because sometimes you may be getting a little too comfortable. Right? For what son is whom the father trusted if not? Right? What type of son are you? You see the example of that today. The children that, that were not chastised, what are they doing now? Running amok. They're running amok. Right? Because they never had that discipline. And even if you did have that discipline of father in the household, he, nine times out of ten, he wasn't raising you up out of the scriptures. Right? But if you are without chastisement, then you are what? All partakers, without chastisement, where of, are you all partakers, then are bastards and not sons? That means you're not a son of Yahweh Shai. If you're without chastisement, that means you're not his son. Right? Furthermore, we have fathers of the flesh, your own biological father of the flesh, right? Which have what? corrected us okay and we gave them reverence so you listened to them what they had to say and you still respected them right shall we not much more rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live so if you're paying your your father your fleshly father on earth how much so do your spiritual father and his son Yahweh Yahweh Shai Hmm? Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Right? So we're supposed to be more in subjection to the Father of spirits because He controls everything and live. For very a few days we were trusting. Right? 
us after our own pleasure. But he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness. Right? So it says so we could be partakers of that holiness. Right? You gotta go through it. You can't you can't you can't I had men t tell me years ago before I was in the camp what was what, what's the word um hell dodging. No, you well you can't really dodge hell. And basically hell is, hell is the grave, by the way. But I know I know what they meant when they said that. Oh hell dodging. Well, how can you hell dodge? Are you a reprobate? How can you hell dodge? If Yahabasha puts you through something, he puts you through it. You can't you can't really dodge that. Right? At all. Especially if you're a man of the Lord. Okay, look what happened to Jonah. Look what happened to Jonah. When he when he went, when he fled to what? What where was it? Tarshish? What happened? He got swallowed up by a well. A big fish. Right? And he got spat out right back onto, onto Nineveh. So if you have the whole wallet, you can't hell dodge. Don't know who told you that. Right? But he for our profit that we might be protectors of his holiness. Now no trusting for the present. Seemeth to be joyous because you're, you're, you're living good. You're feeling good. Of course it, it's, 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 it's good. No trusting for that present moment. Seemeth good. Right? For that moment. But when the trusting, when the trusting comes, obviously it's not nice. But you need that. You need that chastisement so what? You can become better. But grievous, nevertheless afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness. It brings forth better fruit. It brings forth better character. Right? Of righteousness. Key thing. Fruit of righteousness. That's what it brings forth. Fruit of righteousness. Better you. More perfection. Unto them which are exercised thereby. So how could you really have any experience if you're not exercised? If you're not trained? When you're exercising something, you're, you're training, so you become better at that particular thing. So more chastisement, more fear, more fear, more faith towards Yahweh Shai. But if you're not being chastised and you're just being left to your own devices, what's going to happen? You're going to end up what? Doing wickedness and falling back into the world. Right? Wherefore, lift up the hands that hang down in the feeble knees, make straight path for your feet. Key thing for your feet. Right? Lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed by this word. Follow peace with all men. Right? So you have to. And yeah, sometimes it is irritating because guess what? Sometimes you just want to fucking, excuse my, excuse my language, sometimes you just want to, you know? Sometimes you may want to get a little carnal, but you can't. Be at peace of all men. Right? Because you have those out there, they're trying to provoke the elect. Right? You've got demons. And you may even have, I want to say this, you may even, your whole neighborhood, okay, most of your neighborhood, they could be demons. Most of your neighbor could be demons. Right? They're just vessels, they're just portals. If they don't believe in this truth, they're just portals being used by the spiritual demon Satan to work mischief. Right? And these things are going to happen more as we get to the end. And it says, Follow peace of all men and holiness, which no man shall, shall see the Lord. So just be at peace. Right? In other words, you're not, you're, not, you're not out here trying to provoke people. You're just teaching the word and that's it. Right? Looking diligently, lest any, diligently, lest any man fell of the grace of the most high. Looking. Right? There's any root of bitterness springing up. Trouble you. It can happen. Right? And we don't want that bitterness of the truth to spring up. Right? We don't want that. We don't want to get bitter and think, oh no, it's too much. Yeah, just do, do, again, find that balance. Do things also that you can balance out your time and you're not too weighed down. You, you, can't, be, you can't be in the scriptures 24, 24 hours. 11 hours a day balance, balance yourself out you have to because if you don't you just you just you just go mad you just go mad balance yourself out and i need to do a lesson on that as well balance right and 
thereby many be defiled. Many be defiled by what? The bitterness. Some people get bitter. I say, nah, this is, it's too much. It's too bitter. Right? But the scripture says that. It should be in your mouth sweet as honey, but then it would turn what? Bitter. Then it was in my belly as bitter. Right? The bitter is the affliction. The bitter is the trials. Balance yourself up. Do some exercise. Go for a walk. <laughs> No, that's wrong. You can go to a bar, but don't just don't 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 be in the bar for five two five two hours. Balance yourself out, right? Because you need to do that, or you just you lose it, right? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? So we're done on that. It's all a part of the journey, Corinthians. All a part of the journey, baby. Hold up right there. And we're gonna grab the Pizzasticus also. And I do commend um brothers. I commend bro more so I commend brothers, all brothers that go out there that are sincere, more so those that are out there by themselves. Or two man camp, I commend you because it's not as easy as it looks, right? You got a lot of opposition, so I commend any brother that can get out there and really do this work, right? And show their faith. You have to, man, because it's not easy, right? And that takes a level of courage that your house needs to give us, right? Not everybody can do that, and that's why even your haters, a lot of your haters, we've got secret haters. A lot of them actually admire you because they can't do, they know they can't do what you do. So they admire you secretly, right? And you've got people that secretly watch our videos and feel a particular way, but a lot of them, they admire you because they couldn't do what you do. They don't have the guts, right? 